In this video, you're going to learn how to set up your Google AdWords account and create your very first Google AdWords campaign. We'll also cover the different advertising networks where you can display your ads. When we advertise using Google AdWords, we have a number of options when it comes to where we can display our ads. And this is through Google's advertising networks. So let's take a look at these networks. First we have the Google Search Network. This is where I recommend starting in most cases because it's a familiar experience. It's easy to understand where and when people see your ads. You know that people are actively looking for information as they're searching and we present an ad as they're searching for our products or services. The Search Network is made up of two core components. First is Google Search. This is where we display ads, for example, as people are searching on Google.com and other Google domains. Then there's also Search Partners. Search Partners allows us to show ads on other Google properties like Google Maps as well as other third-party search sites. Then there is the Google Display Network, which is made up of thousands and thousands of different sites. The Display Network also includes YouTube as well as third-party sites like LinkedIn and the New York Times. Just remember, when it comes to display, it's a different experience. People are browsing content, they're reading news, they're watching videos, they're not actively searching for something. So where can our ads appear? First off, as we've covered, by creating a search campaign, we can show ads as people are searching. For example, here I've searched for a charity related keyword and in this particular case I have four ads at the top of the search results page. We have the paid results at the top and then we have the organic results below. Then we have display ads. Here are a couple of examples. Here's an example from the New York Times. There are different formats for display ads. So these two examples are image ads. This is different to the search campaigns which are really focused on text-based ads. Display also allows you to place text ads, image ads and other ad formats like video. YouTube is also part of the Google Display Network, so you have the option of placing ads on YouTube, including image and other ad formats. Plus, if you have YouTube content you want to promote, you can advertise your videos to increase views and engagement. Now let's look at the different types of campaigns we can set up and manage inside Google AdWords. Here we're inside the AdWords interface and I've selected Campaigns. We can then click on the Add icon to create a new campaign. Here we can see the different types of campaigns we can manage. We have Search Network Campaign, Display Network Campaign, Shopping, Video and the Universal App Campaign types. If we then select Search as our campaign type, we can see particular objectives we can focus the campaign on, including sales, leads and website traffic. If you opt not to select one of these goals, then you can also set up one of the sub-campaign types, for example a call-only campaign by selecting Get Phone Calls. We can then continue through to set up our campaign inside Google AdWords. Now let's look at structuring our campaigns. I'm only going to touch on this briefly, but when it comes to Google AdWords, we have complete flexibility on how we structure and manage our campaigns. This can be confusing if you are just starting out, and the reason it can be confusing is because there's no one way to structure an account. At the top level of the structure is the account. Then you can have one or more campaigns inside your account. These are your top level folders. They provide your primary structure within the account. Then inside each campaign you can have one or more ad groups. These provide the granular structure. For a search campaign, the ad groups are where your keywords and ads are stored. I want to show you one example to get you thinking about structuring your ad groups. Let's say you've started looking after an AdWords account and you found the keywords on the left included in a single ad group. I've highlighted some words in those keywords to show you that there are different keyword themes included within the same ad group. Now since we have dark milk, gift and white chocolate related keywords all together, it means we have to create ads that cover all of these themes. The ads are generic to ensure they're appropriate to all the people as they're searching for those different keywords. So now let's look at how we could restructure this ad group inside our account. 
Here we can see we've combined all of the dark chocolate keywords and added some into a single ad group. This now means we can have much more specific ads to go with these keywords. You'll notice the ads now actually include the phrase dark chocolate. We then take a similar approach for the other keywords. It means that our ads will be that much more relevant as people are searching. So that's how you can set up Google AdWords. Tell me how you're using Google AdWords. Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below.